MRP procedures. Are we clear, team, up till now? Any questions to anyone? Akshay, Bunny, Aditya? Clear, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let us understand different MRP procedures. Now, what is the MRP procedure? So, nothing but at your header level, you can say, what are the different types of MRP? Okay. So, first is MRP procedure. We are going to have consumption-based planning. And second is demand-driven, or we can say our MRP instead of demand-driven. Let me say, say MRP. Okay. This is going to be your regular MRP. Whatever we are learning now, that is your MRP. Say MRP. Okay. So you're going to be your regular MRP. Okay. Okay. So either consumption based MRP or MRP. Okay. So MRP we are learned, we are talking about MRP, how it is happened, all steps we are learned, okay? Demand is there and all. Then what is the consumption-based planning? Let us understand today what is the consumption-based planning. But in this consumption-based planning, there again, there are some points, reorder point planning, forecast phase planning, and time phase planning. So this forecast phase planning and time phase planning, it is going to be more related to MM team. So we are not going to focus more on that, but definitely we will learn what is the reorder point planning, in that, what is manual reorder point and what is the automatic reorder point? Okay. Clear? Team, we are going to understand different yes, MRP sir. procedure. This is again going to be a very uh, common interview question. What is the types of MRP? Which MRP you are aware? So you are saying MRP is regular MRP. Okay. Whatever we are doing that you are going to learn, you are understand. Then second is the consumption based planning. Okay. And then you should talk about reorder point planning. And which manual and automatic reward point. At least you are able to talk of this. Forecast base and time phase, we are not going to look into this because it is from MM perspective. Okay. Now let us go and understand the difference between MRP and consumption based planning. Okay. So what are the difference? But before understanding difference, let us understand first what is consumption based planning means what. Now, by looking towards the word consumption, what do you understand? What kind of planning it is going to be? Consumption means what? Okay, what is the meaning of word consumption? Akshay? Akshay Bunker and we are Akshay uh, and for the tier, right? Not tier. Akshay, mm -hmm. what is your understanding on uh, consumption words? What does it mean by consumption? So that we are going to consume consume right we are going to consume but every matter we are going to consume so what is difference in that what is the difference everything see if you are manufacturing a product in now you are manufacturing a laptop so you are going to consume your screen you are going to consume the uh, ec or printer circuit board you are going to consume hard disk all the components which is required to manufacture a laptop their stock is going to be reduced and that reduction of stock, we are saying this stock has been consumed, right? But here, the consumption is talk about the C class item. If you go to Metal Master, okay. ABC indicator, significant material, medium significance, and low significance. Are you aware about class A, class B, class C item? Yes, sir. Okay, only Aditya is clear. Uh, Rest of the team? No, sir. Good, thank you. I accept that. So let us understand first this. So class A means what? Quantity and price wise. Okay. So here quantity is going to be less, or we can say low, low quantity, price is going to be high. Okay. B class, a quantity is going to be medium, and cost is going to be medium. Okay. Minimum in between. Okay. 
and here quantity is going to be high right here but price is going to be low now let's take example let us take example of car which is very common to understand so in your car which is the most expensive component in your car which is most expensive component engine engine everybody okay yes. now let me say engine you are right now help me how much engine you have in your car 5 6 10 One. 15 1 okay and cost is almost we can say 60 uh, 40 percent of your car cost is going to be consumed in your engine right if you are having 10 lakh rupees car so you can say 4 lakh rupees is the cost of your engine something like that clear akshay bunny everybody clear yes okay. sir yeah okay now middle this is what this quantity is going to be suppose um, oh in 10 minutes you go into wrap up okay no worries okay the meeting will close in 10 minutes now suppose low cost item means what the cost is going to be less okay or the quantity is going to be also something like that like your mirror or headlamp or something something or uh, those are now small small assemblies okay which is not too much there uh, maybe cost something like uh, 30 40 percent of your price okay and the quantity is going to be also tick tock okay now let us forget about this class which is a little complex to explain to you but now what is the low class item in your car which is cheapest part component plastic parts rubber parts plastic part rubber parts right can i say nut and bolt yes. for example suppose yeah right? nut and bolts yes, yes. right everybody nut and bolts very simple example how many nut and bolts required in one car maybe 10000 or 1000 plus assume there is m10 yeah. bolt okay and it is going to use for every fitting so you can if you count m10 bolt from your wheel of metal the value goes beyond 10000 and the cost is okay you can have in a 10 rupees you can have 100 plus bolt okay so one paisa or something like that okay very cheap penny cost okay do you understand the so cost wise it is very low and quantity wise it is high so that is called as a class c item are we clear aditya yes sir akshay yes, both sir. of the akshay bunny clear yes. okay yes, sir. so this is called as a class now here we are going to talk about class c what why did it say consumption based now let us understand if you, in your company just imagine this uh we are going to procure this screw okay that bolt procurement okay net bolt going to procure how you are going to procure these are your net bolt okay these are the your net and bolt how it is going to procure in a company can you see they are kept in some slides okay in bulk they will bulk right now that is next point i'm going to talk okay so they are going to be packed in this gunny bag and they will procure right like this okay can you see now imagine you are procuring a bolt okay in a gunny bag like this and this is the bag every time you are procuring this jute bag okay in this bag you are going to procure as what so the bag one bag is equal to suppose you can say it is equal to 20 kg okay and in this 20 kg if you start counting precisely you will get almost one lakh okay not exactly but plus minus like nine thousand nine hundred and nine sixty or something like that bold so i assume this is a 10k okay so there are eight thousand available in one bag okay but if you do the sorting weight wise yes weight is 10 kg but if you do the calculation okay it is going quantity wise oh my god it is going to be less okay 9996 something like that clear okay yes sir okay but again next uh, after two weeks you procure one more bag 10k okay weight is 10 kg common expected quantity is 10 kg okay suppose but the quantity wise it can be go beyond like this you have 10 more every time you are going to procure it the quantity is not going to be fixed clear 
आर यू क्लियर ऑन दिस पार्ट प्रोक्यूरमेंट अक्षय बनी आदित्य एवरीबडी मोहित ओके सो क्वांटिटी इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी ओके क्वांटिटी इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी बट युअर युनिट ऑफ प्रोक्यूरमेंट इज ओके आई एम प्रोक्यूर वन बैग वन बैग एवरी टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू चेंज क्वांटिटी चेंज नाउ हाउ यू कैन मैनेज इट प्रोक्यूरमेंट इज नाउ कंजम्पन नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड पार्ट कंजम्पन now how do you believe suppose one car okay we decided one car if you manufacture one car it is required 1000 volt okay assume for one car you required 1000 volt now tell me guys are you going to assure precisely if i am going to manufacture one car okay so if one car is created finished good fg is created it means system has consumed only 1000 volt or it is possible that you can go and end up with use of 1050 volt accurately will it possible if you at per bomb only 1000 volt is required and you are going to attach 1050 volt to your car no but you are yes, going sir. to consume 1050 volt from your stock is it possible yes yeah how yeah. how you are right but how tell me the logic uh, where sir. Some yeah, bolts uh, were missed. Pardon? Uh, some bolt will be missed uh, on miss? the line. Yes. While... Okay. First of all, that is the right answer. Some gold yeah. bolt are going to miss. Can somebody tell me how it is going to miss? See, this is a very small component, manual right? Manual errors. While fitting it. Manual errors. Yes. Manual errors. Like suppose while fitting that nut bolt, it was skip and it is went such a location, you cannot take it out. Like somewhere in conveyor, it got stuck somewhere or it is got fall on the ground. Where from where we cannot pick it pick it up, and you are in a hurry to do the assembly. You mean the operator is in hurry, okay? So first thing one, it get it can go missing. Second thing, anybody else can imagine? Uh, second thing, uh, uh, there. Pardon? Quality issues there. Uh, Quality for, issues. Okay. Uh, so you take out some ten thousand pieces and you take out the one board and you found that it is having some crack. Is it possible? Yes, yes. Everybody, so you simply throw it that side, or you can keep it outside, which is not required. So for that particular car, you are supposed to use that. You have pick up it, but you throw it side. Again, it is a wastage, right? What is what yes, will sir. you put be the reason next? Next reason could be like that. You try to fit it into the bolt and nut bolt assembly. You are doing. You are doing the tightening, and you do excess tightening, or the operator do the excess tightening, and that bolt get cracked. Possible? Yes or no? Yes, tight, that tightener, and because of the, he put excess torque or excess push, and because of that, it get broken out. So this is also way you are going to lose your component. Okay, so these are the different reason because of which the consumption, actual consumption, and the procurement are going to be different, and we cannot have one on one relation. But if you go for engine, suppose your car, you create a one car, you will have only one engine consumed. You will not have two engine consumed. Okay. It is going to be calculated very precisely because it's a high class item. This component like nut, bolt, bushes, rubber part, and all these things we are very cheap. Okay, you can see they are uh, scattered on your shop floor here and there. At the end of the shift, sweeper will come. They will sort it out. They will uh, turn it out or something at the garbage or a scrap or something like that, and it they will use it further for scrapping or something. Okay, so there is no as such a big value for this. Nobody taking care. Nobody want to waste their valuable time. To sorting out or to do the can, even though inventory is there, this C class item nobody is going to go and count. Okay, clear. So these components are going to be used for consumption based planning. Okay, am I clear up till now? Yes, yes sir, sir, clear. Okay. So for this material, in material master, either we have to update this class item, okay, which class, okay, or we can update this material as a bulk. Here you can see bulk indicator. Okay, bulk means what? We are going to procure them in a bulk. We are not going to calculate the quantity. We are going to procure them in a bulk and consume them in a bulk. In that case, we have to use MRP type as a VB. Okay, VB is going to be your MRP type. Manual pre-order point planning VB for this all bulk material. Okay, so tomorrow topic. Uh, so we are stopping over here. Okay, stop it.